Alright, I'm Kyle with 5 Minute Guide and today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make um, Tony Stark's house. So this is probably going to be a two part series or a three part, I don't know, we'll find out. Um, but yeah, first thing we're going to do is, we're just going to jump right in, we're just going to delete this cube. So we're going to X that, delete it, we're going to add, uh, we're going to add a mesh and we're going to add a cylinder. Okay. Um, then we're going to go tab, we're going to highlight these top and bring it down so it's like a pancake, All right? And then we're going to highlight everything and bring it up um, just so it's, you know, where it's supposed to be or whatever. Um, then we're going to go back into object mode, sorry, back into object mode, we're going to bring it up a little bit. Alright, so back into edit mode. And what we're going to do is this is going to be the top of our of our thing. So let's actually go. Sorry, I'm using the number keys to select here. Be select, and that way we can get just the bottom. All right, and we're going to actually just extrude like this whole thing out from there. Um, but first thing we're going to do, um, if you select points on either side, you hit F and that'll create a line. Then you can hit W and subdivide it, and that'll give you a point in the center there. Um, seven, let's B select. We have all those. Let's do F for facing. Okay, but now we have a center point. All right, so now we go to the bottom. Actually, let's, uh, let's pull this center part up a little bit. And that way you have kind of like a dome shape. A little less, maybe. Okay, so now let's go. To the bottom, B select, or actually select, B select. All right, so it's just the bottom now. Okay, so now we extrude. So let's actually zoom in here a little bit. All right. All right, so let's extrude automatically on the z-axis. We're just going to click off of that with the right click. And then we're going to scale that down. So scale, we'll bring it in a little bit. All right, and then we'll extrude again on the z-axis. And those will be our window panes. They actually bow in a little bit, so let's scale that in a little bit again. All right, probably bring that up just a tad. All right, we'll extrude again. We'll right click, scale that out. All right, and this is this is actually going to change, but we'll just go with that for now. All right, and then we will oh, we'll extrude that down on the z-axis just a little bit and extrude, right click to get off of that, and then scale, bring that in again one more time, do the same thing, extrude on the z-axis, down, scale it just a little bit, All right, and we'll just bring that, well, yeah, that's actually about, I guess, where that should be, and then extrude one more time, right click, scale, Actually, it doesn't go scale out, so we'll actually just bring that down. These are the secondary windows, and then scale that in. Extrude, z-axis, scale it in. Now this bottom one is really not that thick. That's concrete, so we get concrete, windows, concrete, and then and like a porch, that's concrete, and then windows, and then concrete. So um, that is pretty good for that. Um, so, yeah, now we need to do, it has kind of like a weird elliptical kind of look to it, so let's work on that right now. So let's go face select, let's um, bring this on the, uh, yeah, so we're at the side view here right now, and let's take this. And actually, let's let's scale up this whole thing first. So 
Yeah, that's that's gonna work. Oh, sorry, I have the bottom selected too. Okay. So what I'm doing here is control and right click, and then I'll just select a bunch of things in a row that's you know all connected. All right, and uh, we're actually going to scale this out a little bit. Um, on the X, actually, let's go on the Y axis. Actually, yeah, let's do uh, one. Let's one. So let's go on the X axis. So we're gonna scale it. We're gonna scale on the X axis a little bit, and then let's scale it on the Z axis. So that's a little bit thinner. All right. And then we can scale a little bit on the y-axis, but not much. But just so the uh, so it's it's more of an oval um, on the x-axis that, but just so you have more of an overhang from your lower porch. Um, all right. So now, now what we're gonna do is we hit the three key, and so we're on the side here, right, on the side of the oval, and we're going to select. Let's say we'll select. Yeah, let's go five on each side. So one, two, three, four, five. So we selected all those. And what we're going to do is we're going to just pull them out slightly on this side. Um, and we're going to bring them down because uh, this one actually, it, it morphs slightly. So, and then we'll deselect as we go. We're just just a little, just a little touch, not too much. Right. A little bit and down. Yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> uh, so I'll select those. a little bit. All right. Out again and down. And that way you kind of have a slight curve. And that's, you know, what it's doing. It's actually a bit more drastic than that. And maybe we'll fix that later. But for now, you know, that's kind of what it looks like. All right. So... This is just the front side of Tony Stark's building, just with the uh, the crazy new kind of modern look of the house. So that's that's just what I'm doing with this with this quick tutorial. So um, we got the basics of the uh, the basic house structure done. Um, so next next video for the the second part, I'm going to show how to make the struts um, and line those up, and then. Uh, maybe do like a, a rough landscape thing just so you can figure out what it looks like with that. Um, and then maybe someday if I get ambitious, we can do the whole rest of the house. All right, this is Kyle with 5 Minute Guide. Um, if you found this tutorial useful at all in making modern architecture, um, please subscribe. And um, you know, feel free to leave comments or questions below. All right, thank you.